Coach, congratulations. You have another home victory here. Um, this is what the doctor ordered, so to speak, to kind of get things back on track and uh, get, in, go, get ready for the conference play. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, we, we want to be a team that, uh, you know, our, our opponent, our circumstances don't dictate how we play. And I think for the most part, we came out and played, played really hard. Um, you know, you got to keep moving forward uh, as, as a football team and you know that there's 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 that situation where um, human nature can't set in and I thought our guys um, took care of business um, we got a lot of guys in the game today so so pleased with our performance and you continue to run the football uh, with passion you know over 900 yards in three games yeah yeah I mean it, both sides of the football you know our ability to run the football and stop the run is, is where it, where it starts um, you know, I think we got a full complement of running backs right now, and, and that's probably what showed up as much as anything today. Um, we need to keep feeding those guys. You know, obviously use our quarterbacks in a timely manner, but uh, you know, it's good to see those running backs get going today. Defense got some turnovers for you today again, and uh, even got a score. Of yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was good to see Ryland get in the end zone. Um, I know Blake still will have the interception earlier. Yeah, I thought our defense played hard. You know, we we gave up the long. Uh, kick return and they get a field goal out of that. We gave a couple of plays in that two minute drive, but you know, we hold them a six, um, really pretty dominant by and large at that first half. Um, you know, and then and we got a lot of guys in in that second half uh, on both sides of the ball and our, our building our depth, you know, that missing piece a lot of times is guys playing in games, you know, uh, and so this game, and I know that that first game against Utah Tech, uh, a lot of guys saw action. We're gonna need that over the course of the season. Uh, a little different look on the sideline. Taylor Houseride on the sideline, uh, calling the game from there. Yeah, yeah, it was a decision that uh, that that he brought to me this, or a, a, an idea I should say he brought to me this week. And you know, I think uh, you can coordinate from both both places. You can call plays from both places. Um, you know, I think I think for him, uh, an opportunity to, to communicate directly with the quarterbacks, probably in particular. Um, so we'll see see what he thought of it out of out of one game. But uh, um, yeah, that was the decision. There. Um, no, no, Tommy today. I know he was kind of questionable going into this one. I guess what went into that decision to not play him at all today? Uh, he's, he's not ready. Yeah. Um, pure, pure and simple. Um, you know, it, it wasn't a deal where he could have gone necessarily. So, you know, we'll see how that uh, develops. You know, into next week. Um, you know, I thought Sean came out and played pretty well. Uh, and then to get Jordan in and play a you know bulk of that second half. You know, that's invaluable experience. And I, I I'm certain there was some good. And um, you know, I mean. Ten in completion, so there's there's some bad with that too. So, you know, uh, there's his, his time will come at some point, and then and opportunities like today were uh, invaluable. I guess just I mean, losing some of those other guys early this week, Caden in particular. Um, what can you just sort of speak to that and help? Yeah, Caden actually got um, dinged up in the game. Um, you know, I don't know if he really knew what it was, and and then you know, kind of. Uh, Took it a little bit further in practice this week, so you know, Caden will be out for the season. Uh, Zach Black will be as well. So you know, it's it's the the nature of the beast. Uh, Simeon, we will get back. Um, you know, and, and we're hopeful that the time of call is turning the corner. Uh, you know, we'll find out, I believe, this week on Junior Alexander. Um, so yeah, it's 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 kind of where we're at right now, and you know, pleased with the guys that uh, that had have, have stepped up. Is there ever any? Concern going into the game like this, knowing what happened last week, and then coming going to Weaver next week, that there might be any look ahead potential, or were you? No, I think that's way? you know that's what you that's what you fight against. You fight against human nature. That's that's human nature. That's that's the way um, most people think. But but in football, you get one chance to play each week, and again, it doesn't matter who, when, where. That's the mentality we have to have. And I, I think you know whatever the score was at halftime, forty-one uh, six. I mean, I think that said we. We didn't take this team light, lightly, and we went went after it, and that was the that was the message all week. You know, our, our effort couldn't be any different against this team. In fact, it should be more, and our attention to detail needed to be more. And I, I think, uh, you know, by and large, that was the case today. Um, Jacob uh, leading the receiving over 100 yards today. I guess I'm curious what you saw him with his most action. Today. Yeah, it was good for him to get that action. I think some some good and bad there too. You know, uh, he is a talented kid, and. and, and you know, he's still a kid, and that's, that's just that he's a true freshman that, uh, you know, um, these for the first two games, I, I, you know, it was really only opportunities to touch the football around those punt returns at, uh, at South Dakota State. So to get some catches to, to not catch every one at the same time and then to, 
you know, on the punt return side um, to get a good return, but then not to handle, you know, handle it correctly every time. I mean, those are learning lessons that, that you only get on Saturday. So, you know, Jacob's going to be a guy that uh, I know we're going to count on on offense and in special teams and, you know, certainly pleased with the, you know, the bulk of what he did today. I'll kind of along that note, how do you feel about the progress in the past game today? Well, I, I think uh, I think some some really good things, you know, and, and it's hard in games like that. You get up and you, you're uh, somewhat guarded on exactly what you're going to do. Um, you know, I, I know another game where we didn't take a sack. I think that's that's where you that's, you look at the protection. Now we were faced with some you know some uh, some pressures that uh, I think at quarterback we got to handle better. Um, you know, I think Jordan uh, has some real capability, but you can see, see inconsistencies. I think Sean, you know, he handled it pretty well. And if it's a game where, you know, we did throw it 30 times, um, but if, if Sean's thrown it 30 times, it'd be interesting to see what that would look like. But uh, yeah, some good and bad, and there was certainly intent with what we were doing. Yeah, I'm trying to, I know Derek had the long um, run and catch, catch and run. Um, I still didn't get, I don't know if we got Trayton involved at all. Um, but yeah, <coughs> excuse me, I know that's a that's a group that can can do a lot. And, and, you know, to this point, a lot of what they do is, is probably the unseen. You know, those two are um, formidable blockers and, and that's that's in line, that's on the perimeter. Um, and then they're they're both capable of making, making plays, so. You know, uh, that'll have to pick up and, and continue as we, we move into conference play. Um, Scott Trey, three new touchdowns for him today, uh, all kind of featured within seven five. Do you, you kind of see him as that back to kind of feature near the goal line, or is that more situation? No, I, I think there's there's some real thought to that. I You know, he um, he's a powerful young man. I, and, you know, we got to come up with schemes week to week that, you know, leverage what we do, what we do well, and, and trying to, find an edge against the defense. So, you know, he's definitely going to be part of that moving forward. Not that he won't play, say, between the 20s, but, you know, his ability to find that uh, that end zone is, is certainly an ability that, that he possesses. And then, you know, uh, along with some of those big runs, you know, the blocks, you know, Cleveland had a couple big ones, Derek had a couple big ones. I guess, what do you think of just, you know, I guess run blocking today? Yeah, you know, the perimeter piece to our our scheme um, is not just the guys running fast. It's it's the guys blocking in front of my Noah. Cleveland uh, on Jared's long touchdown, I believe that was sensational what he did. Um, and like I talked about the tight ends, I think that's a big part of what they do is the perimeter blocking. In addition, to the, the the in line, I, I would imagine we'll walk away and, and I think the, the O line did a solid job. Um, you know, did what they're supposed to do. You know, that that type of thing. Um, but yeah, it takes it takes the whole crew in our run scheme because we're trying to you know stretch it horizontally the best uh, best we can and it. You got to be dialed in in the perimeter.